This is the second section of chapter eight on the binomial expansion, and it, this is factorial notation. So what is the factorial notation? Well, it's a shorthand basically. So for example, if I had five times four times three times two times one, I could write that as five factorial. Now, the notation has many uses in mathematics. The main ones we'll be using it for is to find the coefficients in expanding brackets as an alternative to using Pascal's triangle and also use in probability when we're working out the number of combinations of a certain number of items. So in general, if I had a number to a factorial n factorial, that's n times by n minus 1 times by n minus 2 all the way times by 2 all the way down to 1. So 10 factorial would be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Before we move on, just a couple of bits of information. So this little uh, exclamation mark we call factorial. And also uh, 0 factorial is equal to 1. I'm not going to go through why that is now. You might want to look that up for yourself. Now, I talked about how um, this factorial notation is used in probability, uh, just a little bit more notation. The number of ways of choosing R items from N items is written like this, N, C, R. Now, the C stands for choose. And an example of this might be, let's say I've got 10 cards. So I've got 10 cards. And I want to pick three or choose any three of those cards. So I've got 10 cards in a pack. And I want to choose three. And they could be any three cards. I'm going to choose any three cards. If I want to work out how many ways there are of picking three cards from 10, I'd write it like this. 10 C3. Or we can write that or say that as 10 choose three now you may have seen this button on your calculator just above the divide button so shift and divide will get you this button here so now you know what it does um, and there's there are different ways of doing writing this so we can write it like this with brackets n over r like this it means the same thing and actually let's go back and work this out so if I typed in 10, shift, divide, and three, I get 120. So actually there'd be 120 ways of choosing three different cards from a pack of 10 cards. Anyway, back to this here. So N, um, R is another way of writing it. So I could write this as 10, three, like this, it would mean the same thing. And this can be worked out using factorial. And it would be n factorial divided by r factorial times by n minus r factorial. So for example, to work out this 10 C3, another way of doing it would be 10 factorial over 3 factorial times by n minus r 10 minus 3 factorial in other words 7 factorial and if you work that out on your calculator and you'll need shift and the x to the minus 1 button to get factorial you'll get the same answer so it's just right down here so you've got the x to the minus 1 button here and you'll see above it in yellow x with an exclamation mark like this so do shift to get this and to get the factorial. Now, if we're going to link up this new notation here to Pascal's triangle, we can use this to find the numbers, any number in Pascal's triangle. So if I go down to the nth row and I go to the arc value, so I go to a certain value across, then the, I can use this to work it out. So let's say, for example, I was on the seventh row and I want to find the third value in. Seventh row, third value in. 
So seventh row, this would be six, and a third value in, it'd be two. So if I work out six C2 or six two, or even use the formula here, I can work out what that number is in Pascal's triangle. Example three, part A, we want to calculate five factorial. Now we can use our calculator to do it. If I'm doing it manually, it would just be five times four times three times two times one. So calculator or manually, it works out to be 120. So part B, 5C2 or 5, choose 2, which we can also write as 5, 2, like this. Again, we can use our calculator to work it out, but if we're going to work out a manual, it will be N factorial, which is 5 factorial, over R factorial, times by N minus R factorial, so 5 minus 2, which is 3, times by 3 factorial, so that would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Again, we could work this out on our calculator. Over 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now look, we've got some stuff here that can cancel down. We've got 3 times 2 times 1. We're times in by that. So we can cancel those out. So it just becomes 20 over 2. So we get a value of 10. So all without using a calculator. Part C, we're trying to find the sixth entry. So again, six numbers across in the 10th row. Now, from what we said before, um, if it's the 10th row, then N is going to be 10 minus one, which is nine. And if I'm going to the sixth entry, uh, six minus one is five. So 9C5, nine, 9 choose 5, is going to give me that entry, which I can write as 9 over 5. Now, we probably want to use our calculator for this because uh, 9 factorial over 5 factorial times 9 factorial, uh, sorry, times 4 factorial, it is going to be pretty long. So we'll just use our calculator. So this is what we type in our calculator, 9 shift divide 5 equals and you'll see 9c5 come up on your calculator and that gives us a value of 126. So you should now be able to do exercise 8b on pages 162 to 163 of the textbook.